Hi, this is Judy. I wanted to do a video today to share with you how I can serve on my skincare products. How many of you buy product and you pay pretty much for it and sometimes you think, boy, that just goes too fast, I can't afford it. Well, let me tell you how you're going to be able to afford it. You can conserve by just a simple tip. Um, sometimes you, um, you know how they'll say one squirt or one drop of a product and then you try to put it on and it's just like, okay, that's not enough and you go back for more. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it without having to worry about doing that. You won't have to do a second application if you take this little tip and use it. Uh, so I am going to first pull my hair back. Okay, how many of you remember me sharing the video of my little headband that I bought? I think these are adorable. They look like sunglasses, but they're not sunglasses. So they open up just like sunglasses, so you can store them in your purse. Um, they have the little bling on it. Mine does. They come in different colors. They come uh, with uh, different print and with or without the little crystals in it. Plus, it has the little teeth. Let me show you the little teeth that's in them. Can you see the little teeth? And I'm going to show you how it looks on. It's so a cute, 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 cute. I love them. I love it. I love it. Even this old lady likes that 60s look. I remember years ago. Of course, they still have headbands out there, but, you know, they, they hurt your head. And these don't. These feel comfortable. They're not tight at all. They come down behind your ear just like your sunglasses would. And the teeth help hold it in. Plus, it's just they're just so adorable to pull back, especially with long hair. You can take it and pull it back and do all kinds of different things with it. But what I'm going to do today, I'm going to use it to pull my hair back off my face. So I use this also instead of a headband or a cloth band to pull the hair back. Okay, so there you go. So you got Judy with her hair back off her face and no makeup and no eyebrows. I got eyebrows, believe it or not. They're, they're just white and you can't see them. So I'm going to, um, I'm not going to do my brows today, but I will do a video to show you how I do my brows with our perfect eyeshadow. Um, all you need is a, a good eyebrow brush and um, the right color and you're in business with just some eyeshadow. But I'm not going to take time to do that today. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you, I use uh, Quench Cleanse. Quench Cleanse is our... Um, normal to dry skin cleanser um, limelight has um, another one called dream clean and I like it too I used it when I first started selling limelight and it works really great with with me as well but I, I ended up using this more often because my skin tends to get a little dry and so when it's when it gets okay and not really dry then I go back to the dream clean but I like this this is this is awesome stuff. It has aloe and sunflower in it, and um, it's normal to dry, as I said. And it's also used to balance your skin for hydrating and balancing the skin. So I'm gonna square a little bit on there, and I'm gonna show you how I do. And I don't I don't wash this off. You know how you usually splash your uh, your cleansers off. This you don't have to do that with it. You can if you want, but I, I learned I don't need to do that. So what I do, I put it on, and then I use just a warm wash rag, and I wipe it off instead of splashing it off. Okay, and that's our Quench Cleanse product. Next we have, I have two moisturizing products that I use. Uh, one is called Must Do and one is called our Skin Therapist. Our Must Do is our essential face oil and it has palm rose and sunflower in it. And this Must Do, I'll make sure I've got the right one, I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, that's Skin Therapist. So this is the Must Do. And as you can see, it's in a small bottle. But, guess what? I'm going to show you how 
you can conserve. Now I can feel my face is dried. So what you could do is take your damp washcloth and just pat your face with it like that. Then you want to squirt one squirt of the oil on the tips of your fingers and then you want to spread it around just on the tips of your fingers and then you want to take it and you want to pat it. And then smear it around. Now if you feel that you're stretching your skin still and your skin started drying, all you got to do is take your washcloth, just touch it, just lay your hand on it, and then give a smear around. Okay, And that's how you can conserve. Now I first started putting this on, it was like, okay, that's not enough, and I went back and got a little more, and that was too much. And I thought, well, that's not spreading. But I learned this with another product I used to use as well. That if you just keep your face moist, not wet, it's not going to dilute the product. You're still going to get the same amount that you need, and you're still going to get the same um, results. Okay, that was must do. Now, I don't usually use both of these together, but you can. Especially if you have extra dry skin. I mean extra extra dry and I think Tiffany my daughter she needs I probably need to start using this on her because her skin is so dry and flaky looking okay the next is our skin therapist and I hope I don't look like I'm frowning and I'm not frowning it's like I'm trying to see okay skin therapist skin therapist it has pomegranate and oat in it and it's also um, uh, packed with hydrating ingredients and it immediately replenishes the moisture in your skin and it restores dry aged skin and inflamed skin cells so if that sounds like you then then you need this everyone needs this um, believe me if you don't moisturize your skin while you're young and take care of it when you get my age you're going to regret it because it is absolutely essential that ladies keep a good uh, hydrating lotion or something on their face. Never use soap. <laughs> Never use soap. I learned when I was 25 years old that soap dries the skin. I don't care what kind of soap it is. But I've not used soap on my face since I was 25 years old. And that's a long time because I'm getting old. Anyway, anyway, this is Skin Therapist. Okay, what I noticed just now, I have let my face dry. So I'm going to put one squirt. I've got one squirt. That's all I got right here. So you take that one squirt, pat it together on the tips of your fingers, pat it on your face where you want it. Now I notice it's pulling a little bit. So what I want to do is just touch my wash rag. And there you go, ladies. There you go. You spread so easy. And I didn't have to go back for more. It was more than enough. Of course, the oil helps. I had the oil on. The oil helps too. So if you just use one, you're definitely going to stretch your skin. If you just use one squirt and all you got to do is make that hand and fingers moist again by touching your wash rack okay that's it that's all I wanted to share with you today so um, if you got any questions please feel free to ask me you know leave me a message and if you don't have if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. So I will talk to y'all later, and I will do more demonstrations in the future with our amazing Limelight products. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.